Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully you can hear me over these singing Tibetan bowls. Um, so I am Indigo Sage, an awakened soul. I do have a spiritual website at unapologeticallysage.com. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook under unapologeticallysage.com. Here is your empowerment message, all right? And I'm so excited about this one. And I titled it, Your Power Never Left, all right? Um, so here's the thing. I did begin to try to make the conscious effort to shorten my videos, my readings. However, this one's not going to be short. I mean, and I really don't have much control over it and I'm not policing myself right now because as I am channeling these messages, and when the guardian angels are giving me all of the information that I need to relay to the collective, sometimes it's hard to cut out things that I feel like is important. And so I don't. And, and I'm not talking about my counterparts at all, but I know sometimes people feel like well go ahead and cut that out because if they want to know more then they'll just get a personal reading but i don't operate that way i want to give you guys the pertinent information for the collective as this is general and then of course um there are sometimes when things need to be specific and I will encourage you to get a personal reading, but as it's general and for the collective, I try to, <laughs> I, I, I go to just go ahead and pack it all in. So I don't know how long this one's going to be, but I can tell you right now, it's not going to be short. All right. So take your seats, buckle up because this one is it's going to be i feel like it's going to be amazing so let's sage this out okay so my regular sages you guys are already familiar but for you newbies welcome and also um I don't have like a set spread per se for the empowerment messages. I go by however the guardian angels lead me. And um and really they it hasn't been like a, a huge variety. Um it's usually one or two ways, maybe three, but so this time oh and one thing I tell everyone and like I said regular sages already know I don't normally do clarifiers um, the only time I do clarifiers is in an extended or in a personal of course but um, in my regular readings I don't do clarifiers um, this one here what you're gonna see is this is the focus card I asked for a focus card which is what you are to focus on which goes throughout the message and then i asked for the message cards and i asked for a companion card at the end i ask for a summary card but really i call it the bottom line card okay it's the bottom line of it all and then we will have an angel number tile and um you know and then i'll wrap it up so here is the focus card and it comes from the easy tarot deck beautiful deck and it is the king of swords 
So let me first say, because I am very much into imagery. And so in case you have not yet caught my Tales of Tarot, Intuition and Imagery series, let me tell you that when you're looking at a single card, the and, it, and it's of the person, the body and posture says a lot. So this king of swords is telling us a lot just by the image. His head is facing to the left, which means he's looking in the past. His bottom portion is facing to the right, which means it, it references the future. Okay, so this card is already in contemplation of the past and future. All right, and he has one foot right here. As we see it, it's the left one, which is facing forward. Forward means present. Okay, so keep that in mind. <laughs> That's really important throughout this entire message, all right? So let's go ahead and break down this King of Swords as the focus card. And by the way, this was very interesting because this is the first time that I got a court card as a focus card. And court cards usually represent a person that is either you or someone in your life. If it's someone in your life, it is the person who's weighing heaviest on your heart as you hear these words. All right. This is a person with unwavering ability to think quickly and responsibly. The king of swords most likely is a person who is good at math as well, which makes them naturally analytical. In their presence, you feel analyzed. Now, if this is you, which most likely it is you, there's like 5%, 5 to 7% of you who may be thinking of someone else when, you know, the King of Swords came up. And that's okay, totally fine. If this is you, you tend to study a person from the moment you greet them. And you've been told before that you are judging people, although you really aren't. People are careful, excuse me, these people are careful, or excuse me, people are careful with the words that they speak around you because they know you'll remember and it may resurface. Now, is that a good thing? I, I don't know. You have to decide if that's good or not. Um, this person is extremely cautious when it comes to new friendships due to previous disappointment and misplaced trust. However, if you are lucky enough to earn the friendship of the King of Swords, they offer excellent advice and loyalty. As long as you are on their good side, you are safe okay so i love the king of swords and what it represents as long as it's upright okay swords i always call the swords like the blade of truth okay it's it cuts through bs and um it's up air and it, it's just I, I like the sword suit like i said as long as they're upright and all cards all cards came out upright and beautifully and the guardian angels let me know that this is they are meant to be upright this was not meant to be mistaken to be you know um upside down reverse and, and none of that and so let's continue because this is a very beautiful message and i really strongly feel like the king of swords is you which is why it's very important for you to forgive yourself for past mistakes and get back to who you truly are. You are this strong king, 
okay? But you're looking in the past. Something happened in the past. And as you can see, or you can imagine, it's hard to move forward while you're looking backwards. Okay, I've never seen anybody do it. I've never seen anybody do it outside of a horror movie or something. You know what I'm saying? Um, but in real life, you can't successfully move forward while you are looking backwards, while your head is facing behind you. You can't do that. And this is what you're doing right now. All right. So let's go ahead and, and sage this out. Let's 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 sage further. So the first message card for you, it might look familiar because the last empowerment message from last month's empowerment message was this one as well this one showed up as well and actually i believe this one was the focus card of last month's empowerment message so here's adaptability again this month all right and you know you guys when our guardian angels are telling us something <laughs> If we don't get it right, they're gonna keep saying the same thing until we get it. And it's the message is just gonna get like louder and louder and louder. So anyway, here's adaptability again. It is number one for those of you who are in numerology. And let's go ahead and sage this out. You're invited to dance in uncharted territory. You've set intentions for how your life can be different meaning better, fuller, more prosperous, creative, and mostly more meaningful. The skill of adaptability is the only thing that will usher those things into your life. The need for adaptability may be the only constant in your life right now, okay? Next is the companion card. So remember, not to look at it as a clarifier because it's not just look at it as an extension of this message shield yourself is the companion card to adaptability and it says protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. Your sensitivity to surrounding energies has grown. This means you've become capable of absorbing other people's energies inadvertently and unbeknownst to you. This translates to you feeling tired, unfocused, uneasy, and sometimes upset without understanding the point of origin. It's extremely important to ask Archangel Michael to guard you from lower energies when you feel negative energy. For example, when people are arguing, when people are competing or using aggressive language, that's the time to ask Archangel Michael to shield you from the low vibrating energy. Now, let me say this, because this is another message that I got for this particular portion of your message. They've been trying to give you this message about shielding yourself and adapting. Okay. And like I said before, with adapting, that was in last month's empowerment message. And I'm going to just tell you right now, spoiler alert, shielding is going to come up again later with a whole different deck. So they've been repeating these messages to you and they're telling you to get it now because one thing that they said, and this is one thing that I know for sure that I've experienced, it's like either we can do this the easy way or the hard way, okay? And you don't want to know what the hard way is, but, and, it, and that's not to scare you or make you afraid, but it's just, I feel a resistance of change. You're resisting change. Okay, which is why you're not adapting. 
You need to adapt because things around you are changing. You, yourself, you're changing. Inside of you, you're changing. And it's okay. That's how we grow. And you are growing spiritually. And that's going to happen. It's happening. And, and it's not, I'm not saying, they're not saying that you don't want to grow spiritually, but you, there's a part of you that's stuck in the past that they want you to let go. That's what they're saying. And adapt to the newness of like, and, and this is something I say all the time, leave the experience, keep the lesson okay and i'll say it again leave the experience keep the lesson and move forward okay you've got to move forward and even though you may feel like you're moving forward because that king's legs was like facing forward but he was looking back you're not going to get too far before you trip and fall and, and there's chaos so don't lie to yourself pretending like you're moving forward but you know you're still looking back okay don't do that that that's ridiculous don't make no sense you know that's not your little secret your spirit guides guardian angels archangels ascended masters extended loved ones from above we all they all know that you looking back all right and they are lovingly giving you the advice to knock it off because otherwise you can't move forward in a healthy way so let's continue we are easing right into the message of assurance okay and what a beautiful card i don't know if i'm feeling like it's so beautiful because cobalt blue is my favorite color so I'm just in love with this card, period. Plus, I love the imagery of, you know, the growth in her hand. Um, it, it's just very pretty. And I love her headpiece, love the red hair, all of it. Like, th it's just my favorite. What can I say? So assurance is the next message. Your angels are backing your goals. Get into it now is the time to trust that whatever you've planned and worked on is coming into fruition keep your eyes on the prize stay in the flow of events as you adapt to changes this will prepare you for your next opportunity for a major breakthrough books is the companion card your life purpose involves writing reading editing or selling spiritually based books call on archangel gabrielle for courage and confidence i love this card this card is a call for you to take definite action towards your book related goals archangel gabrielle is the messenger angel who helps writers teachers and others involved in the delivery of spiritual messages call upon archangel gabrielle for courage and confidence on this journey So what do we have here? Romantic love, all right? So I'm gonna be honest, that surprised me, it shocked me. Um, until, you know, I was, I completed the message, then it all made sense, but in the very beginning, romantic love popping out, I'm like, oh, okay. The empowerment message usually doesn't say anything about romantic love, but here we are. So let's stage this out. Now is the time to look for the essence of love all around you, which will open you up to fall in love with your life. Get into it. I'm going to repeat that. 
Now is the time to look for the essence of love all around you, which will open you up to fall in love with your life. When this action is taken, the abundance of love in your life will increase tenfold and you will use this as a tool for empowerment. All right. The abundance of love in your life will increase. Now, the companion card is Manifestation Power, which actually is a beautiful and wonderful card to come up. But it carries a heavy message in this empowerment message. So let's go ahead and sage this out. Manifestation Power. Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. Now, Sages, I went back and forth, forth and back, back and forth, forth and back um, on how to sum this up. And I landed on stop inviting victimhood by way of complaints. There was no other way for me to say it. And I thought, oh my gosh, let me pretty this up. Let me soften it up. But you know what? You guys can take it. Okay. This is the basis of what I'm getting ready to say and, and where this message is going. Stop inviting victimhood by way of complaints. And this is tied up in the past. The looking to the past and your romantic love and you feeling like you made a mistake you've got to forgive yourself and move forward there are other fish in the sea i know that sounds so generic but it's so true though and you're gonna be okay all right but you're you're being stuck on some kind of mistake that you feel like you made as it pertains to your love life in the past and your angels have been constantly trying to send you signs to move forward forgive yourself and move forward and for whatever reason you're still stuck and so now this manifestation card has come up and a part of it is to remind you that you do have special gifts and powers to manifest things quickly and being stuck in the past and complaining and being stuck there you are manifesting that and you may not realize it and so this is meant to be like a last call wake up call hello stop it stop it which is why all I could say was stop inviting victimhood by way of complaints that's all I could say now let me go ahead and <laughs> read my notes that was just i just had to get that off my chest okay you've been complaining or feeling like a victim from someone's ill will make it a point to stop complaining your angels ask you to replace the habit of complaining with a healthy energy of positive visualization including your desired outcome filled with genuine love okay so whatever it is that you want for yourself right now as it pertains to love general love healthy love romantic love family love lo self-love okay get into that self-love visualize that that is what you must visualize at this time and take that visualization and replace that put that in the place of your complaining habits because they got to stop okay um now here's something that you can close your eyes and say when you feel like you're about to complain or even just to start your day all right archangel Jophiel, the angel of beauty Please beautify my thoughts about my desires so that they're completely based in love. And I'll say that again. You should close your eyes 
and say at the beginning of your day, okay, at the start of your day, because I have a similar prayer like this at the beginning of my day, and it works, it does. Archangel Jophiel, the angel of beauty, please beautify my thoughts about my desires so that they're completely based in love. Okay, because you got to move forward. You have to move forward. The way that King of Swords body was, head looking back, but the body, the the legs and the knees all turned forward, but his head is back. You can't move forward like that. No one can move forward like that. So get out of that. You must get out of that. And I know that jumping in the romantic love scene again, you're probably hesitant and you might feel awkward and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay to acknowledge that it didn't work out and you were hurt, you thought it was, but at the same time, you can't live in that space. You cannot swim in that negative energy. You can acknowledge it. And you know what? This might sound weird and crazy, but I'm going to, um, I'm very open and honest on my spiritual website. And so I might as well be with my readings as well. I had a horrible relationship a few, few years ago and I thought it was going to be all great. And it was like my first true love and all this kind of stuff. And we had known each other for 20 plus years and it didn't work out and it hurt and all that kind of stuff. It was awful and blah, blah, blah. But you know what I did? <laughs> I didn't try to like ignore the pain. I had like a funeral for it basically. Now, no, I didn't go in my backyard and, and dig a hole and, and bury pictures and notes. No, I did not do anything like that. But I mean, figurative, figuratively speaking, um, because you do have to acknowledge what you thought you had, acknowledge that it didn't turn out to be that, acknowledge your pain, and there's a grieving process, okay? And then after that grieving process, you need to be done. <laughs> and then you move forward. That's how it works. You cannot jump in the grave with someone who's dead and just tell, you know, the gravekeepers, just bury me with them. Like, you can't do that. I mean, I guess you could, and that would be very silly, but, you know, come on. Get up out the grave. You're not dead. You're not buried. Get up out of it. You are still very much alive. And apparently with this card coming up, Romantic Love Baby, with um, Aphrodite or Aphrodite, however you say her name, beautiful card, you want some romantic love. And let me tell you something. You're not going to get it if you're still looking at the past. Your whole body needs to be facing forward in order to move forward in a healthy, good, manageable way, okay? And um, and I, I feel like I hear some of you saying, I'm not looking for no romantic love right now. That's fine too, that's fine, that's fine, okay? But just love, self-love, let me put it like that, self-love, self-love. Apologize to yourself for the mistakes you feel like you made, then accept the apology for the mistakes you feel like you made and then forgive yourself and move forward. Making mistakes proves that we're human. Everybody makes mistakes. Forgive yourself, love yourself, pour love into yourself, okay? Because eventually, when you do look for another companion in whatever shape or form that is, you need to present your best self. Your best 
self will be a healed self. You understand what I'm saying? I hope everyone's nodding in agreement. So you have to pour love into yourself right now. All right. And heal yourself. And understand that you are manifesting right now. Your thoughts, your ideas, they become real in an instant. So you've got to keep them positive. You got to keep them with high vibrational energy. You've got to become unstuck. You've got to live in the moment and be present in the moment and just fill yourself with love in order to be the most healthiest person that you can be for anyone, whether it's your family, whether it's the way you show up to work, you know, whoever, whenever, however, you cannot be your best self if you're not whole within yourself. And the only way to become whole within yourself and a healthy self and your best self is to love yourself, love every part of yourself. And this is what they're showing me right now. It's just like when you put on skates and you try to skate, you're going to fall, but you're going to have fun when you're doing it. Or sometimes it might hurt. You might bleed, but eventually it heals and you get over it and you go out and do it again. The more you practice, you get better. And then you find out this is some fun stuff. This is cool. This is great. This is fun. And it's kind of like that. Or you can say riding a bike when you first get on a bike. You know, you're going to fall. And overall, it's a fun experience to learn these things. But it is a little scary. And sometimes you may fall and hurt yourself. You may have a wound. But the wound will heal if you don't pick at it. So hopefully you guys get that. All wounds will heal if you don't pick at it. And then you master skating or you master riding a bike and, you know, you do a tour de France or something, whatever they call that stuff. I don't know. But you get what I'm saying. Like, let this wound heal. Don't keep picking at it. Send love to yourself, which is like putting A and D ointment on it or, or Neosporin or whatever. Put a Band-Aid on it or let it have air. Whatever you need to do, let it heal. Leave it alone. Let it heal. And then get out there and do it bigger and better. Okay? All right. Now, <laughs> let me get up off of the soapbox that I was on just now. But seriously, like manifestation power is so strong and so serious and it's not to be taken lightly. And so you really need to be careful with your thoughts because you, the person I'm talking to right now, you have the power of manifestation. And it just boggles my mind how sometimes when people stay in low vibrational moods and low energy and complaining, it just boggles my mind on how they don't understand how, of course, bad things keep happening to you. That's where you live. That's all you say. That's all you think about. So you are calling in that negativity. You're calling it in constantly as you complain. You're calling it in. The universe doesn't understand. The universe is very simple. So whatever you're complaining about, the universe takes it as a blanket sentence that that's what you want. So they keep giving it to you. So you have to consciously make an effort to not complain and instead visualize the high vibrational things, the healthy things, the good things, the great things that you want. 
you have to visualize that and think about that instead of complaining. And the universe will give you that. Try it. Just try it. All right. And then come back in the comments and tell me how great it worked out. I'll be here. So right here is the summary card, which I affectionately call it the bottom line card. All right. This is the card that I call upon. This is the position for the card that is called upon to be the bottom line of everything that I just told you. And check it out completely different deck and what does it say it says shielding all right so this is pretty important your guardian angels are telling you over and over that it's very important that you shield yourself from negative energy and with this card they went a little further and actually um told me to tell you that it's time for low vibe people to exit your life and i believe i believe you know it and i was moving my headphones around so let me repeat this they told me to tell you that it's time for low vibe people to exit your life and i believe you have someone or a couple of people in mind already. Someone. Someone is blinking. Um, so, your angels are doubling down on shielding yourself from negativity. Except this time they are talking about ridding yourself of the people in your life that produce negativity. Despite how long you've known them. Now is the time to become the new, fresher, revitalized version of yourself. And that means shielding yourself from negative people, which means you may need to cut them off. You're only keeping them around because they've been around the longest and that's not the right reason. Point blank period. If you have negative people in your life, you already know who they are. You are elevating. You are going on to a higher level. Don't weigh yourself down with negative people. Your guardian angels have shown you already instances and reasons why these people or person needs to be completely cut out of your life they keep saying it's one person and maybe i'm saying people because i i cut several at one time <laughs> snip 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 but um for you it's one person please don't let it be your ex lord jesus okay anyway um this one person needs to be cut out of your life it doesn't matter the time you're hanging on because of the time the time you've known each other for a long time and the time something about time invested time 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 that doesn't matter that doesn't matter you still can grow apart even if you've known each other for 20 years even if you've been in your, each other's life for 20 years also they told me to add family even if it's a family member you don't have to talk to that family even if you and that family member is a cousin and you grew up like sisters or brothers you know whatever whatever you need to cut the low vibe negative people out of your life now the extent of the cut varies and for that you would need to get a personal reading all right you can go to unapologeticallysage.com go to the youtube personal readings tab and i'll help you right there but nevertheless someone needs to be cut severed eased on out as you ease on up the road um and like i said the cutting varies 
because some may not need to be 110% cut and some do okay but that depends on you know like like I always say you guys are individuals and this is general and so to get into specifics I'd have to give you a personal reading however bottom line for everyone listening you already know you already know you already know who needs to be cut and this is validation that they need to be cut severed ties severed ties need to be severed they're saying that resonates with you that resonates with someone sever the ties Ooh, family ties is it hard because they're a family member the thing about it is with family members, and I understand how that can be hard, okay? Because um, I've had to sever with some family members as well. But it's easier than you think. When you start pouring love into yourself, it becomes easier to rid yourself of what doesn't serve you get into it get all the way into it just jump all the way into the pool of self-love okay drown yourself in self-love when you pour love into yourself and you become a healed new version of yourself it's not hard to cut off what does it serve you it's not hard to cut off what's not healthy it's not hard to see low vibrational people ideas speech things become more clear and it becomes more easy when you become a healthier you okay so first things first become a healthier you and oh and they said dissolve ego um that's for someone not for all but uh and don't be worried about okay so where that came from don't be worried about what other people think don't oh don't mm, 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 mm. i never worried about what other people thought about anything and i realized later in life that that was unnatural i guess but i never gave a care about what other people thought about anything that i did because I as soon as I came out born I knew my life was my life and that's why people always call me an old soul but this is not about me um so it's hard for me to understand the level and the depth of people caring about what other people think because I never have um well you know what that's not true I did when I was a child and I was telling all my school age friends about how I could see into the future and stuff and then they all thought I was crazy and I was ostracized yes in that moment I did care so correction but as far as a decision on my everyday life as I let me let me put it like this as I became grown you know even high school I'll say high school too I, I, didn't, I never cared about what people thought because it's, it's your life and you you have to be the best you you could be for you <laughs> you have to heal yourself and be a complete and whole person all within yourself first and foremost before you can do anything else so you got to do what's best for you and it doesn't matter what other people think or if other people understand no one has to understand it this is a conversation that you have with you and your higher power this is just between you and your higher power no one else is invited okay get into it all right moving along okay you guys okay so this is the first that I am going to give you guys the most information about an angel number message 
So get ready for this because there was nothing that I could exclude. Every single thing connected. And so I, I couldn't exclude anything. So let me let me give my um, quick explanation of angel number tiles, angel number messages. Actually, the tiles were created by me, Indigo Sage, and I choose them in the same manner that I choose the tarot and oracle cards for each individual message. They are a staple. The angel number messages are angel numbers that are sent to us from our guardian angels. They send us messages all the time and sometimes we don't get them. So therefore they go ahead and rely on numbers, sending us numbers. Sometimes, a lot of times, they are repetitive numbers. When you see a repetitive number, I encourage you to go ahead and Google it and put an angel number and insert number. And you will find a plethora of information on that number. And that is your guardian angels trying to communicate with you in one of the simplest ways that they can. Also, even if it's not repetitive, if it's a number that is just highlighted for whatever reason, it feels highlighted, go ahead and Google it, research it, angel number, and put in that highlighted number. And I guarantee you, it is going to speak to you. So on this section of every reading, what I do is tell you the bullet points of the angel number message tile that was chosen that your guardian angel sent in regards to the individual message. Now, as I said, usually it's just bullet points. And I encourage you all to go look it up on your own because everyone's unique. And it's usually like a very long message and different things will connect with different people. However, this one, I am going to tell you guys, I could not pick bullet points. I couldn't on this one. Like everything connected so, let me begin. Your angel number message tile is two. All right, and it's, it's a coincidence that the last three messages have all been single digits, single digits for a very long time. And usually it's three digits. And the last three messages have been single digits. First, I think it was one, then it was zero, and now it's two. Go figure. But angel number two is a message of peace. Angel number two is a message of peace. This is a way for your guardian angels to tell you that when you embrace peace within, you will find that the different aspects of your life start to align with each other and work in harmony. Your guardian angels are trying to comfort you by reminding you to not let negative emotions get the best of you. Angel number two is a message to have courage, faith, and trust in the angels and universal energies as the answers to your prayers are manifesting for you. Although it may not be obvious just yet, it may be a test of your patience, but rest assured that all will come to pass in divine right time. Angel number two may also be a message to display compassion, diplomacy, consideration, and adaptability as you passionately serve others in your day-to-day -day life. Your angels are encouraging you to pursue your life purpose and soul mission with faith and trust in the divine. Angel number two also encourages you to be diplomatic, cooperative, and loving when relating to others. 
And if this message was not so long, I would read all of that over again. But um, it hit on absolutely every card that we talked about. And I think that's amazing. Your guardian angels are trying to comfort you by reminding you to not let negative emotions get the best of you. That's what I want you to take away. At the end of every empowerment message, I always provide a poem, a quote, a verse. So this one, this time, it's slightly different because I have a deck that's not necessarily new, but I've never pulled it out. And so this time I thought I would and just see what it gives. So as it relates to this message, it gave self blessing which was perfect because throughout this entire message I've been talking about self-love all right and ridding yourself of low vibrational energy ridding yourself of negativity and all of that so this is a way that you can do it physically seriously all right so this is just it's perfect and like I said, I never used this deck before. And the deck will be down in the description box. But for right now, let's dive into this card. Let's stage this out. Self-blessing. The time you take to restore yourself is precious. Perform a self-blessing every day. Take dried sage and aromatic lavender and tie it up in a muslin sack. Breathe in the aroma deeply three times, beginning at the top of your head, the crown chakra. Pass the pouch down to your feet, gently touching your other sacred chakras, throat, solar plexus, stomach, and pelvis. Then holding the bag of herbs over your heart, speak aloud, gone are the sorrows illness and woe here wisdom and health begin to flow my heart is whole joy fills my soul blessed be me okay you guys i am going to at this time do a shameless plug so what you're looking at right now to the left of your screen is a magnet that I designed. I have five different styles. They are all placed on their quotes, either by me or Bible verses, and they are placed on my photography from my walking meditations. This one happens to be the one that I entitled Love. And it says, love is a combination of respect, friendship, understanding, communication, and companionship. Get into it, okay? And again, that is, love is a combination of respect, friendship, understanding, communication, and companionship. Get into it. You can purchase this magnet and all of them for only four dollars each that includes shipping and handling and tax just four dollars flat fee right out the door um and in order to buy this magnet you must go to unapologeticallysage.com click on the unsay merch store tab and shop away Right now, there, there is, um, like I said, five different designs. They are all on my photography that I took on my walk and meditations. That's also a tab that you can click on. Um, when I walk, it's, very, it's a very ex spiritual experience for me. And I oftentimes take photographs. And I never actually planned on, um, I, I, I didn't foresee that it would, amount to being on magnets with quotes and everything it, it was just a spiritual moment that i wanted to capture 
and I realized that I really want to share it with you all. Okay, so this is my way of sharing my spiritual moments with you. It's just words of encouragement and beautiful photography. All right, and I, it was in my soul to make it a very reasonable price. All right, this is not about me getting rich, you know, <laughs> this is about sharing my spiritual experience with you all. So I hope you join my journey um, by going to unapologeticallysage.com to my spiritual website. And if you would like to buy this magnet, and also it's a very good size. It is five by four. So we're not talking about a tiny magnet that you can barely see, you can barely read. And also in all honesty, keeping it 100, when you actually receive it in the mail, you will see it's beautiful clarity. Like your screen is not giving it justice right now, honestly. It's beautiful, it's vibrant, um, and very clear. So um, I put a lot of effort, and, and that's, it took a while for this to come about, and I'm starting my product line out very slow because quality is um, my preference. So like I said, I'm not trying to get rich quick. I I just want to share my spiritual journey with you all. And this is how I decided to, this is how I was led to begin the sharing besides, you know, the page and my stories and everything. And um, these magnets are guaranteed to brighten up your day. All right. So just go to unapologeticallysage.com to the unsay merch store tab and view them and i guarantee you it'll be hard to choose just one all right moving right along all right you guys my sages my sages my sages we have reached the end of this powerful empowerment message you guys are the king of swords and remember whether you be female or male you all possess and have inside of you divine masculine energy as well as divine feminine energy so when i say you are the king of swords it doesn't matter your natural born gender doesn't matter all right but what does matter is that you go to unapologeticallysage.com, my spiritual website. There's lots of topics there, lots of them. It's not just tarot. So go explore that and get some enlightenment, all right? If this resonated with you, you know exactly what to do. Click like and subscribe. When you do that, you become a part of my collective that I meditate on and channel when it comes to these messages. All right, and that alone is the reason why it's so important that you click like and subscribe. All right, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderfully blessed week and please remain safe in all aspects of life, okay? Thank you so much for your time and your support.